Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chiefs and the Niners, and it comes your way next. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. The stage is finally set, and here we go. Super Bowl 57 is underway. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft, a guy with something to prove, Iowa State's career passing leader. And that's Brock Purdy. And as we know, and as we've discussed here in the run-up to this game, this is history in the making. The first rookie quarterback to ever start in a Super Bowl. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment, something no one else has done. But he doesn't want to just go down as the first to make a Super Bowl. He's told us all week he's here to win it. On first down, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Here's the option play now to the left. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. I think the block in the ball. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A handoff left, McCaffrey, nifty move. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Give him five yards there and it'll bring up second down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're gonna smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Oh, able to avoid him. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Purdy. Open man is Ayu complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. On first down, it's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also, just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. And he's going to use his legs here. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second and 14. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Purdy looking to throw. And yeah, that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone.
Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. He can't help but continue to marvel at how well this man's career has gone so far. Now in his fifth season as KC starter, he's never missed a conference title game, and he's taking the field in his third Super Bowl. Simply dominant, it's easy to envision him being one of the top quarterbacks for many years to come. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Second and 13, Mahomes, screenplay, McKinnon. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. first down this is McCaffrey and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play one quarter done three more to play here in Super Bowl 57 three nothing is our score we'll return after this message you're watching the NFL and it's right here on EA Sports and we are back biggest game of the year the Super Bowl and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter 
Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And the Chiefs showing a dime look as they defend this third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down at inches. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball and pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And they'll try to run the option here. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. But not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. And throwing here, Purdy. Got a man, that's Ayu. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays, and there's an example of that right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Oh, how about this on first and goal? 
And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Purdy. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Here's Purdy. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Call it a big loss of 10 there. And it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They set a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Gold is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down six nothing as they begin with a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. From the 40 now on second down. Mahomes eluding, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
Here's Tommy Townsend now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Purdy to throw it on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Purdy from the gun. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. So we've reached halftime here. Well, one of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl from the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they trail here in this Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. Mahomes throw caught by Gray. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Go, 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 
from the gun. They'll try to run it. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with a run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw, Purdy. And incomplete on the deep ball. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. 
And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Mahomes now on first down. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes caught Kelsey left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. First down, they'll go to the ground. Now the ball comes loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 66 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. On first down, Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Oh, 
Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi Trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. The offense on third down tonight. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and seven. Flushed out right. Over the middle complete. It's Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They run the option here on first and 10. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk, a five-yard touchdown. And the 49ers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. Well, we lasted all the way to the fourth quarter without a touchdown being on the board, but here a key one to extend the lead. Definitely, and I really doubt that. But that's going to open the floodgates. What do you think, partner? No, not the way that we've seen these defenses play. Yeah, no doubt about it. They've been rock solid, but we had to know that sooner or later, someone had to surrender a touchdown, and it happened right there. They'll look to throw. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. That right there makes up for that missed extra point they had after the first score. Yeah, they went ahead and got back to level by going for two and having the normal amount of points. So that works out pretty well for them. And if you're the kicker, don't worry about it too much. Now they've got back to where they want to be, they'll try it out there for the next one. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From the 10. Oh, good. And he loses the football a second time. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers, and quickly. And he'll lose 
Huge yardage here going down back at the 28. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. But good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football, look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle <laughs> ready to swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver, but not on that one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, that agile, He's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. To throw again on second down. Purdy, that's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Niners are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. The Chiefs on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. 
A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now Mahomes got to have this one to the sideline, and <laughs> that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. And again, it's Mahomes. The tight, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been won for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, and they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 85 yards rushing for him now. A big part, no doubt, of why they lead in this Super Bowl. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. A nice run there, 9 yards, and it'll be second down. 
I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Thank <laughs> you. 